the best tripod for cooking videos will have these five features. So there's actually a sixth feature that I forgot, and it doesn't come with every tripod, but there is an accessory that you can buy to add it, and I'll share that at the end. Number one is that it's tall enough to shoot over your counter or stove when it's placed on the floor. My stove is 36 inches tall, and ideally you would want to get your camera up high enough to shoot down onto your stove or your prep area. I think something with a max height around 65 to 75 inches would be perfect. Number two is going to be locking tripod legs. These locking legs are just way faster to adjust compared to those twisty screw to lock versions. When you're cooking and filming, sometimes you need to move as quickly as possible so you don't burn your food and sometimes you might just have messy hands and you can only use like the back of your finger or something to lock and unlock this thing. Trust me, just go with locking leg clips for your tripod legs. Number three is an adjustable center column. This is another great tripod feature that allows you to quickly adjust your camera angle and shot without having to mess with all of your tripod legs. You can use this center column to quickly raise and lower your camera. One thing to consider when looking at tripods with an adjustable center column is avoiding the ones that require you to turn a little crank to lower and raise the camera. Again, this has to do with speed and messy hands. You want one with just a simple single lock that you can loosen and then pull your camera up or down and then lock it back into place. The fourth thing that you'd want on a tripod is a head with a quick release plate. This is another great tripod feature that allows you to attach a plate to your camera. Then you're able to easily and quickly mount or remove your camera from the tripod. This is great to have if you ever wanted to quickly remove your camera to get a handheld shot. Or maybe you might have an overhead rig and you want to quickly jump between your tripod and move your camera over to your overhead rig. This will allow you to easily and quickly move your camera from one spot to the other and not have to spin your camera around to get it off of that little screw thing and then spin it back onto the other thing to tighten it down. Just a heads up that not all tripods and quick release plates are the same. So it's good to pick the same brand and quick release type system from the very beginning so that they all match up. They also make quick release adapters. So you could actually buy a couple of the same adapters and mounts and then use them on different brand tripods. So basically what you do is buy like two or three of these, right? And then you can attach the mount to the quick release plate that came with your tripod and just leave that one on there. And now you have a matching quick release system that works on any tripod that you own now and in the future. The last feature is sort of a bonus one, but does the tripod have a video head? Not all tripod heads are made to shoot video, and some just hold the camera and then lock them into place. Video heads allow you to pan or tilt the camera to add movement to your shots. And the stronger and smoother the head, the more money it's gonna cost. That sounds so weird to say out loud. It goes without saying, but this is for all camera gear in general. And the more expensive the tripod, the more durable it probably is. The more weight it can probably support and the more functionality it may have. You really just wanna make sure that you're getting something that can support the weight of your camera. Like, do you really trust your $3,000 camera and lens on that $19 Amazon Basics tripod? The sixth thing you'd want on a tripod is a head leveler. So the way this thing works is you would remove the tripod head from the tripod legs. Then you just screw the leveler onto the legs. Depending on your tripod, you may need this adapter to make the screw on the tripod legs bigger so that you can attach the leveler. I got a link to all this stuff in the description, but then you just need to screw the tripod head onto the level adapter thing. What's awesome about this specific accessory is that sometimes you just might be in a rush to adjust your tripod height. And well, the only way to level your camera would be to micro adjust each individual leg until the camera's level. Well, with this adapter thing, you can simply just adjust your legs to get the tripod to the general height you're shooting for, and this will let you quickly adjust the tripod head and camera. This is such a time saver, and it's so clutch when you're in a rush to move your camera and not burn the food that you're cooking. If you're just starting out and using your phone or a small camera like a Sony ZV-1 or ZV-E10, I got a list of a few different tripod options in the description. This video ranges between $20 and $75. The one that I would honestly recommend that is featured in this video is only 50 bucks. I also got some more expensive options down there if you have a heavier, larger camera. Thanks for watching and aloha.